I do think that Eddie Hearn has the best gift of gab. When you start hearing people like that say things like that, that gives me a fucking hard on. Random, random. You know what's so funny, man? Since, since, I've been, since I've been doing my Boxing Talk channel, man, which I appreciate the support, you know, I've been accused of being a Ryan Garcia fan. You know, when I said that Ryan Garcia would beat Devin Haney. Then, once De once Ryan Garcia cheated, I said that, I said that uh, victory would be overturned. So then, people said that I was a Devin Haney fan, just because I'm telling the truth and telling the whole story. And then, you know what's so funny? When I said that, uh, when I gave Tank credit for beating two people that later on went on to become champions at Isaac Cruz, and Mario Barrios at two at a higher weight division and a, at two higher weight divisions, they said I was a tank fan, you know. And then when I said Liam Paro, you know, I, I I picked him for the upset, you know. I said, man, don't be surprised if Super Matias uh, uh, has an upset. I mean, if, if Liam Paro upsets Super Matias in Puerto Rico in his hometown, because I think Liam Paro is good. I recognize his re recognize his ability. And people said I was a Liam Paro fan, you know. So, <laughs> and now I'm covering Shakur Stevenson in a holistic manner, and now they're saying I'm a Shakur fan. So you know what that means to me. That's just to me that I actually like boxing. I'm a boxing fan. I cover it all, baby, and I tell the truth, you know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do, and you do what you do. And what you do is watching me, because you can't do what I do, little bitch. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know I'm lying. Because I'm the best boxer in the world. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG, and Praise has got to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, so yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. So check this out. As you saw from the intro, man, you know, uh, Oscar has laid out his terms when it comes to uh, Shakur fighting Zapata. You know, it is so funny because, uh, <laughs> because you know, uh, coincidentally, you know, um, Zapata has called out Shakur multiple times, but now he will only fight him if he signs there. And you know what the interesting fact is? That I actually think that Zapata and Shakur is a good fight, and I would lean towards Zapata for the upset. But random. <laughs> Random, you know what's so funny, man? Since, since I've been since I've been doing my boxing talk channel, man, which I appreciate the support, you know, I've been accused of being a Ryan Garcia fan. You know, when I said that Ryan Garcia would beat Devin Haney, then once De once Ryan Garcia cheated, I said that, I said that uh, victory would be overturned. So then people said that I was a Devin Haney fan just because I'm telling the truth and telling the whole story. And then you know what's so funny? When I said that uh, when I gave Tank credit for beating two people that later on went on to become champions at Isaac Cruz and Mario Barrios at two at a higher weight division and a, at two higher weight divisions, they said I was a tank fan, you know? And then when I said Liam Paro, you know, I, I, I picked him for the upset. You know, I said, man, don't be surprised if Super Matias uh, uh, has an upset. I mean, if, if Liam Paro upsets Super Matias in Puerto Rico in his hometown, because I think Liam Paro is good. I recognize his, re recognize his ability. And people said I was a Liam Paro fan, you know? So, <laughs> and now I'm covering Shakur Stevenson in a holistic manner. And now they're saying I'm a Shakur fan. So you know what that means to me? That's just to me that I actually like boxing. I'm a boxing fan. I cover it all, baby, and I tell the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do what I do, and you do what you do. And what you do is watching me, because you can't do what I do, little bitch. You know what I'm talking about? So, no, I, you know what I'm saying? I just cover boxing, and I just give you the whole story, man. You know, so <laughs> I'm a fan of boxing, baby. You get mad, and you get upset, because you think I'm attacking your favorite boxer when I drop news. That's it. So, anyway... Uh, uh, you know, I think this is funny. Back to the topic at hand, man. I think this is funny when um, when uh, Oscar De La Hoya comes out and says that uh, he'll only sign uh, Shakur Stevenson. He'll only let Shakur Stevenson fight Zapata if he signs with Golden Boy, which we do. He's going to have some type of ultimatum for getting Shakur. I'm sure that he's going to have a lot of ultimatums and a lot of terms. You know, that's why I think that Eddie Hearn is still the best. But this was in direct response and in a direct challenge to Eddie Hearn because guess what Eddie Hearn said? Eddie Hearn had came out and said that yeah, I want Shakur, man. We should try to make this a pay to fight. So now Oscar. <laughs> Oscar's rebuttal, man. Oscar's funny as hell, man. Oscar's rebuttal is like, hold on, partner, you ain't getting that as a pay to fight unless you sign over here, brother. But the irony of that is that if you paid attention to boxing and just not your favorite boxer, you would know that Zapata has called out Shakur twice. Yes, I, I want the big names in boxing. We have to recognize that Shakur is one of those big names. Once before the Maxi Hughes fight, which wasn't even his last fight, his last fight was against Giovanni Cabrera, but before he, he fought Maxi Hughes, he uh, called out Shakur. And then after he beat Maxi Hughes in the ring, he called out Shakur again. And then when Shakur was like, okay, bet. I'll oblige you. Let's fight. Then, then him and his coach Panda and uh, Oscar De La Hoya said, you know, that now nah, we're not gonna fight Shakur right now. You know, we just said that we want those fights in the future. You know, they kind of reneged and they're pump faking with the call out. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
And so now Oscar once again is like, no, nah, bro, you're only going to get some paid if you sign with us. You know, and that that just reinforces that they're not confident that Zapata could beat uh, uh, Shakur. But I do think that Zapata believes in himself. Of course, you're a fighter. I believe all fighters believe in themselves. And like I said, I, I would kind of lean towards Zapata for the upset. You know, say, oh, Shakur, man, I think Styles make fights. I think that would be a great fight, man. You know, either way, they're going to bring out the best of both of them, in my personal opinion. But yeah, man, so I just, I, I just love that, man. I love when people accuse me of being a, a fan for this boxer or that boxer or this boxer or that boxer because that just reinforces that I'm doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a boxing channel, not your favorite boxer's channel. I'm a boxing channel. You know, I'm talking about Dr. Boxing Talk. You know what I'm saying? I do what I do, baby. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Do you think that Oscar is doing too much? Yeah. Do you think that uh, he should set those terms because William Zapata is their cash cow? Uh, or, do, or do you think that with these terms and these ultimatums being public like that, since he put it on Twitter, do you think that this is another reason why should course side with Eddie Hearn? Because that's what I think. Not that Eddie Hearn, like I said, the caveat was signed with Eddie Hearn. There's pros and cons with everything, right? There's always going to be pros and cons, you know. Um, to be fair, Golden Boy, you know, they have Zapata for a uh, kid off the school field who's at 135 you know and they got some people at 140 and then um uh pbc of course famously they have javante take davis and they have uh frank the ghost barton and they have some people you know along the way too and then of course um top rank they have lomachenko and uh uh, Keyshawn Davis, Abdullah Mason, and others, you know, some other people along the way too. But, you know, obviously, Top Rank and Bob Arum have not been willing to make the Lomachenko fight with Shakur uh, because Shakur has been on Top Rank since 2017 and, and, and Loma has been at 135 since 2018 after he beat Jorge Linares. So, you know, but, but Match Room, as far as their stable at 135, they, they literally not just figuratively, they literally have the weakest stable at 135, but they do have some fighters at 140, you know what I'm saying, uh, doing dealings with Jack Catterall, Regis Pro Gray, um, uh, Subra Matias, uh, Liam Paro, and others. So they got some fighters at 140, but 135, they, they're, they're probably the weakest. However, I do think that Eddie Hearn has the best gift of gab. When you start hearing people like that say things like that, that gives me a fucking hard on. You know what I'm saying? You don't really hear from Al Heyman and PBC much. Bob Barham is... He, he definitely he's terrible when he talks about Shakur because he just downs him all day says that he doesn't like his style and whether it's true or not your promoter should not be saying that you know and then uh, Oscar De La Hoya he's funny when he comes out and talks but he's always fighting and bickering with a boxer like he's about to hop in the ring and box him for real Rollies you dumbass you know <laughs> so I personally believe that Eddie Hearn is, is the best for Shakur because what they say Shakur has a PR problem you know he's always arguing with people and you know Eddie Hearn he's going to cover that for you he's going to talk about you he's going to promote you he's going to make you sound good he's going to highlight your uh, strengths and he's going to praise you and he's going to he's going to take the battles on you know for you so so I think that Shakur needs that and um, Eddie Hearn could be Shakur's Bill Haney you know that's what Bill Haney does for Devin Haney you know uh, Devin Haney's not the most personable or most outgoing or polarizing figure but Bill Haney is whether you like him or not Bill Haney's going when, when, when Bill Haney talks, you listen. You know whether you listen to, to critique or you listen to laugh or you listen to uh, agree. You gonna listen. That's what Eddie Hearn does as well. So that's why I think that Eddie Hearn is the best place for um, for Shakur. And I think what he signs with Eddie Hearn, being the being the fact that Matchroom does dealings with the zone, just like Golden Boy does dealings with the zone as, as far as their broadcasting um, platform. I think that there's a pay to fight will happen regardless. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I just think it'll, it'll be easier to facilitate if he goes with Golden Boy. Of course, you know that's how things work. But not to mention you got that guy Big Turk out there you know what I'm talking about so big turkey out of chic you know what I'm saying so he makes fights happen too so I think that's a little less of a hindrance when it comes to um, signing with promotional companies when it, come, when it comes to getting getting certain fights because I think that will happen eventually especially with the involvement of big turkey Saudi Arabia man so y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments y'all let me know if you think that uh, uh, Oscar was out of line should of course you sign with Golden Boy or should of course you sign with Eddie Hearn or somebody else or maybe even sign with PBC or go with Floyd you know what I'm saying you know he has options man it's always good to have options you know it, it, it's a problem that he's in right now to, to pick what side he wants to go to but it's a good problem you know you, when you got options it's good man you just got to make the right decision so i appreciate y'all rocking with me as always y'all be easy y'all take care remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out the best boxing channel on youtube because we are a boxing channel not your favorite boxers channel peace from the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.